Happy Friday, everyone. Jeanette Biro here. I am a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading from Spirit, where we dive in and see what's in store. Now, we are at the end of the week. It has been a wild week of energy, but manifestation, co-creation, universe talking to us about how they are stepping up for the rebirth that we have undergone. And, and you know, as we are on this new path, they're walking with us, and I'm so excited about that. So Let's see what they have in store through the cards. And again, I'm using the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. Let's see what's in store as we move into the weekend and beyond. That sounds so intense, but let's roll with it. Okay, here we go. Okay, awesome. So this, this is lovely. So I pulled four. So we have the bard, okay, followed by the frog, followed by letting go, followed by omens and messages, the hawk card. So I really like this because first of all, this bard card, bard card is all about, um, so on the card, it says music, poetry, myth, history, the enchantment of storytelling. Now, what I'm getting from spirit is this is specifically about your story. You are in the midst while you're alive of creating your story of this lifetime. Now, what they're saying is with everything that's been going on this week, all the things that you have had come up this week, notice where in your story things have shifted. Maybe you're on a new chapter and you didn't realize until the end of this week that you're on a new chapter. Where in your story have things shifted? What in your story now are you able to let go of to make space for new? Because that's what this frog card is all about. It's a beautiful second card to the bard. And this is about emotional clearing, clearing house, making space within your emotions, within your, your heart space, your mind of things that no longer apply so that the story can be refined in the direction you want to go. And that then is followed by this absolutely beautiful card that just is the perfect third card of letting go. So this means when you find the things that no longer apply to your story, be willing to let them go. Let them go because they no longer belong in your story. They're part of the first few chapters, not the, these next parts and next chapters. Allow them to let go with ease and grace so that you can move forward. Now, in the energy of you moving forward, pay attention to omens and messages. Now, omens has this really dark energy connected to it in terms of history. And when you hear the word omens, it's like, dun, dun, dun. I feel like that music plays every time. It's not about that. It's about insights from spirit, signs, synchronicities, messages. That's what this card is about. And this is coming up because spirit is saying, as you have been making space in your story, letting things go. The universe really wants to step in to help bring you that guidance. So pay attention to it. Notice the synchronicities of events or things that happen. Notice the number signs. Notice the dream state. Notice all the ways that they're communicating with you because they're doing that to help you on your path forward. This is a beautiful card as we step into the weekend because it's kind of like this card says, now that you are on this new story, this new chapter, this new phase, take a breath and let go of everything that came before and really put your eyes on the path going forward and see what the universe drops in your path. What omens, what signs, what synchronicities drop in your path to guide you in the direction you're wanting to go. Because if you've done all the things this week, you have set what those dreams and manifestations are. So now you just need the universe to work with you as you step forward on your journey. This is a great card. So I love how this rounded out the week here. I wish you guys a most beautiful weekend. Enjoy your time. And I'll be back on Monday and we'll see what is in store next week. But this week, we, we should celebrate this week. This is a good start. February is a really beautiful, energetic month. Make the most of it. And you guys, if you are wanting to dive into more of your journey, your exploration, check out avalonspirit.com. There are so many ways to do that there. As well, if you're joining me for the first time, please do subscribe and share. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys on Monday.